we can move to the two largest nuclear weapon states, the US and Russia, and listen to medical students from these two countries, uh, Katerina and Joe. If you're here with us, we'd like to hear from you and uh, have a feel of what you think. Uh, do you have a special responsibility um, in working towards a nuclear weapon free world in your countries? Um, <laughs> Yes, as medical students in this in, in Russia and US, what do you think is your responsibility in this campaign? Okay, can I start? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ekaterina Shilkanovtseva. I'm Russian students representative of IPPNW, and I'm happy to be here with all of you. That's an incredible meeting that can play an important role in our peaceful world. Uh, I was born in Bryansk. It's a small city in Russia, and uh, the location of this city is nearby uh, the place of Chernobyl disaster. And uh, I have known uh, about awful consequences uh, of radiation um, from my childhood. And uh, the powers of uh, nature are not in uh, themselves good and devil. And uh, how we use them uh, depends uh, on uh, only the person. As doctors, uh, we cannot keep silent uh, about nuclear weapons uh, because uh, our professional duty is to protect uh, life on our planet. And uh, the story of Hiroshima shows uh, their suffering uh, faced by survivors uh, of nuclear weapons. Uh, and uh, we all know the irreversibility of radiation, but uh, we haven't got any ways uh, how to treat them. And um, it's a huge risk uh, for our humanity. As a citizen of one of the largest uh, nuclear states, um, I can definitely say that we made uh, the first big step in 1985, and we should uh, promote uh, our movement uh, and uh, do our best for amplification. And uh, young generation uh, surely uh, should be brought up uh, with uh, their idea uh, of peaceful world. All the students should understand the danger and um, consciously approach the problem. And uh, we have Russian section of IPPNW and we have started officially formalizing our community at uh, Sechna University. Uh, their strategy of peaceful peaceful coexistence and uh, collaboration uh, must be deepened uh, in every way. And uh, we must convince uh, each uh, generation that we can everything together. And uh, all our humanity creates, our humanity can and will control. And we should be a big team in our peaceful world. Thank you, Jor, you are the next one. Hi, uh, yes. Um, so uh, first of all, I wanted to uh, thank um, uh, IPPNW for uh, convening this event and also thank you to Setsuko and Michi and Susan for the film, which I watched yesterday and which was incredible. Um, it, was, it was great to learn more about um, Setsuko's story and Michi's family, uh, as well as to see some of the footage of the, the drama unfolding at the, uh, at the UN a couple of years ago. Um, uh, so I, I um, was a medical student a few short years ago. I'm now a, a, a staff hospitalist at Mass General Hospital and a, a lecturer, or a, a instructor at Harvard Medical School. Um, and um, uh, I, I also wanted to uh, say I'm grateful to be able to recognize um, uh, Nagasaki Day and the, uh, the um, victims and survivors of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings um, today. Um, in terms of the question of... Um, uh, the special responsibility of the U.S. and Russia, I think that's absolutely right. Uh, uh, between um, our two countries, we uh, possess 90% of the nuclear weapons. 
And I think it's also important to comment on the ways in which the United States uh, alone has a special responsibility on this issue. Um, uh, my country is the only one to have ever used nuclear weapons, um, uh, uh, although other countries, of course, have uh, um, uh, tested them with, with terrible consequences. Um, and also, I think it's important that um, you know the, the folks in the United States don't often realize the position of of strength and really hegemony that the uh, United States is entering negotiations from. Uh, we spend more uh, on our military than the next ten countries combined. We uh, encircle our perceived adversaries with eight hundred military bases, um, and and then paradoxically. Uh, you know, we live in a country where the the cost of political activism is actually quite low compared to some of the nuclear weapon states, um, and uh, the influence of glass, grassroots activism uh, on policy um, uh, can be quite high. Um, and so, so I think uh, for all these reasons, we have a special responsibility in this country. Um, in terms of uh, what we can do, I'm really humbled by the uh, accomplishments um, of of the other folks on this call, and. Um, uh, you know, all of the things that, um, that the other folks have mentioned, um, uh, Ulfat's uh, um, framework and, and uh, all the details from uh, uh, Franca as well. Um, so uh, I guess a few thoughts to outline, um, uh, you know, this kind of citizen to citizen and doctor to doctor diplomacy is crucial. It bypasses a lot of the, uh, um, the issues uh, that our governments face when they talk to each other um, uh, and sets a, sets a trajectory for them. Um, I think uh, we all uh, have work that we have to do and are doing in our own countries, um, advancing legislation, educating the public, um, educating our me medical communities and, and students in our own countries. I think um, as, as various folks mentioned, um, our uh, school curricula around uh, nuclear weapons um, and the history there are, are, are pretty lacking in, in terms of their, their coverage of the issues. Um, uh, as various folks mentioned, the um, the, the face of activism has changed in recent decades. Um, I think we need to, uh, uh, as Ulfat said, uh, work, work on uh, how we're engaging on social media and new media and, and ways of communication. And then finally, I think, you know, seeing the way that the pandemic has unfolded, especially in my country, recognizing that, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, it, um, rejection of rationality, and um, difficulty with, um, you know, wishful thinking about uh, ignoring facts. And so we have to recognize that when we're communicating um, with people, uh, there's a limit to dumping facts on data on them. And, uh, and we have to kind of become better storytellers. Um, and, and so I think uh, one of the things that, that's so incredible about, um, you know, being able to share this plat platform with Setsuko Thurlow is, is uh, her incredible storytelling ability. And I think we all, we can all learn from it.